Chabby. Well, tonight we are hearing from frustrated members of the deaf community. They say a sign language interpreter was not available at a city meeting, a uh, city council meeting, I should say. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman is live outside of City Hall uh, talking about this. And Bonnie, this first came up last week, but you have new information tonight. Heather, that's right. Last week, that is when a dozen deaf people showed up here to City Hall. They're trying to voice their opinion about cannabis clubs, but they say they couldn't do that because an interpreter was not available. I feel like the City Hall discriminates against me. They don't want to hear his voice. George Baca may be deaf, but that doesn't mean his voice shouldn't be heard. I went to the meeting. I requested an interpreter. But the city says that request was 48 hours too late. They're not going to admit that they got a phone call. I called them 72 hours in advance and told them we were going to need a translator. So they were given proper notice. They just didn't care about our cause or what we had to say. They should provide an interpreter. Closed caption on TV. Many people are wondering why closed captioning was not available at that meeting. The deaf community tells us that could really help close the gap between them and communicating with city council. But the city doesn't have closed captioning. Council has discussed it, but the service comes with a big price tag. We had our own translator there that they deemed wasn't good enough. It was horrible. Horrible what they did to these people. Bringing your own translator is not an option. The city must use an interpreter that's already certified with the city. He said he thinks it's not equal. He's discriminating his rights. Now, the city says it is open for suggestions to improving its communication. Now, if you do want an interpreter, you need to contact the city by calling them or by emailing them. Now, if you are deaf or hard of hearing, you can just simply dial 711, and that will get you straight to the relay services, and they can help you out. For now, reporting live in Colorado Springs at City Hall, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Bonnie. After month